Well, with our forced 90 days out of the EU, which we were very lucky to get the 180 days that we did have, um, we had a few options. We could either go back to the United States, visit family and friends, which of course would be a great experience because we don't get to see them enough. Or we could take that 90 days that we have to be out and visit some place completely new. So that is what we have decided to do. We are currently in Bangkok, Thailand right now. Um, decided to give ourselves about 36 hours just to kind of get over like jet lag and adjust. Um, saw a few sites, but we're going to be back here, so we're saving a lot of that for a different time within our visit to Thailand because we are actually going cruising again coming up pretty soon. We have hooked ourselves up with a charter boat down in the area of Koh Chang, which is in the Chop Providence, Gulf of Thailand, eastern side, uh, actually near the Cambodian border. So we're going to get ourselves there just a couple days early, kind of like get the feel for like the culture, just how everything's done. Um, but today our goal is going to be getting from Bangkok down to Koh Chang. So we are going to be taking a private taxi five hours or so and then taking a ferry across to the island. So uh, we're really excited to start our adventures. Never been to Thailand before so far. It is absolutely amazing. People are so friendly and of course it's cheap so that one's too. Best part of waking up is Nescafe. Nescafe? <laughs> Made it with uh, just five minutes to spare, and I can't remember if I said at the hostel I know we were trying to rush together to get our stuff, eat, get out. Um, there's a few different ways to get from Bangkok down to Chad or Koh Chang. Um, you can fly, but that's of course going to be the most expensive. There is the like big passenger bus, but then you have to get yourself to a bus station on the eastern side of town. First thing in the morning, um, we were like a little bit worried about traffic and we weren't positive if it took us to the ferry dock. So what we decided to do and what is recommended is to go for the private taxi where we paid 550 baht a person, or I think that equates to uh, like just under $20. It's a five hour drive down to the ferry, and then our ticket for this, the 550 baht, covers the ferry ride as well. So then we'll, it's kind of like really, it takes a lot of the work out of it for you, otherwise you're trying to get from your hostel to the bus terminal, then take the bus. Uh, we don't know if it went to the town of Chat or to the pier. And then you have to like get your ticket and get in. So this is just an easier way to do it. But I have to say so far, it's convenient. Well, it turns out our minibus is actually a big bus. It's one of the double-deckers. Um, somebody came to collect us from the hostel that we bought our tickets from and then walked us, I don't know, five or six blocks to this big double-decker bus. So still updates to come on, which is the better way to get there.
at our bathroom. Our oh, Indoor, kind of outdoor bathroom. Wow! <laughs> well, that's not something you see every day. Shower, shower, shower the monkeys. Shower in the jungle. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Oh, and it's raining right now, so you can hear the rain falling on the leaves and stuff. That is beautiful. Yeah, this works. <laughs> yeah. While getting ourselves acclimated to the island of Koh Chang before jumping on our charter boat for the next two weeks, we checked ourselves into Oasis Bungalows in the town of Lonely Beach. Ready for a transition, we took ourselves away from the water, if only by a half mile, and perched ourselves in the rolling jungle hills. Our room was simple, with just a bed, a fan, and a mosquito net, but it also offered a great porch for sitting and listening to the birds. Or, when we needed to get a little work done, a great open air restaurant and lounge area. So we're witnessing something special here, and Matt is actually eating curry. Spicy food. Yep. Not used to this at all, but as you can see, I'm sweating just a little bit, but overall, extremely good. Yep. I went simple today. I got some pork fried rice. Uh, yeah, that's what, a buck 25? Buck 50 maybe for Jessica's fried rice. Mine's like buck 75 for curry. Can't beat it. Nope. Very good. Jungles on one side, beach on the other. Nobody let Georgie know that she's been replaced. <laughs> that's not nice. Georgie can never be replaced. But there is a cat that's trying. Acting very Georgie-like, just jumped in our room, decided a good place to clean herself. So. <laughs> yeah, she just came wandering and started yelling at us to pet her. <laughs> Sounds like our cat. Yep. <laughs> I need attention. Love me. Not a bad little distraction, though. Yeah. We could use some kitty love. Little Thai uh, cat. Yep. Purring up a storm. <laughs> <laughs> Was he patting you in the wrong spot? Okay. Well, the day that we have been waiting for is finally here. Actually, a little bit early. And we are about to head out to the charter boat right now. It turns out they're putting us on at a night early. I think the people that kind of get you settled um, all had things come up last minute. So they said, just come over a night early. We'll get you settled in, um, hang out at the dock. So we ordered a taxi that is going to come to um, our most recent hostel, Tuk Tuk Guest House. And so we just did our provisioning this morning. We didn't buy a whole lot just because we think we'll still be going to shore a lot, getting food just like we have been. It's pretty easy, it's pretty cheap. Uh, but I think we spent the equivalent of 100 US dollars so far. Our total came to 3,000 baht, uh, mostly on beverages, like one case of beer, 24 pack of Coke, some waters, eggs, did a couple like pasta dishes, got like this big bag of chicken fillets. Um, Got probably like two kilos maybe for 78 baht which is under three dollars it's unreal so maybe we will be doing some more cooking here uh, but yeah we're just about to head over uh, go through the um, orientation and then hopefully enjoy a wonderful Thai sunset from the cockpit of our new charter boat for the next two weeks Ready for this? I am ready for this. We got our awesome ride and all of our provisions. Oh. Hopefully we'll stay in this truck while we go because uh, we think it's going to be a bumpy ride that we've gone through some of these roads and this should cry the way that you go up and down and around. So 45 minutes of ride. About 45 minutes of a ride. I'm really excited to see our boat. It's a uh, Island Spirit 38 for cabin layout, which we've never seen, but we know that's got an like open air salon, so 
I'm ready to do some relaxing, getting myself psyched for like waterfalls and snorkeling and motorbike tours through jungles. So. Sailing and lots of sailing. And well, of course, lots and lots of sailing. If we can get winds over five knots, it may not happen. Yeah, nice condos, huh? <laughs> I think I see you down there. I am looking forward to this. Isn't she pretty? Oh man, this is our home for the next two weeks. And she looks gorgeous. And then look, there's just like little local fishing boats coming through. I think we are really going to like it here. Well, this is gonna be our home for the next two weeks. It's an Island Spirit 380, uh, about the perfect boat for these types of uh, climates. Open air and the aft end, the salon, the galley are all open to the cockpit, which just gives, of course, great airflow, but visibility, and you just, you feel like you're outside. Forward of the salon are two berths, uh, over the bridge deck. They are uh, two double berths, so it does give an extra sleeping capacity, ends up bringing it up to about eight people. Forward of that, we end up having a huge head. Um, nice area for doing makeup or that kind of stuff. And then in front of that, we do end up having an even larger uh, shower. The shower is incredible in this boat. I haven't had a shower where I can turn around and, you know, do cartwheels basically, and it is incredible size. In the aft, with the double beds, uh, just gives you an extra, uh, just a ton of extra space that you typically don't get on a 38 foot boat. So they're doing some last minute preparations of our boat, getting last little provisions aboard, um, some of the extra stuff. And Jess and I have been going through, they have a really awesome um, cruising guide that they set up for this area. So we've been going through, trying to figure out exactly where we're gonna spend our next two weeks. Oh, not uh, enough time. <laughs> not, not enough time, but oh my gosh, two weeks on this boat is gonna be absolutely awesome in this area. So we figured out uh, what we're gonna do is we think we're gonna go, there's a two major, uh, well, three major islands in a row. We're on the, the northernmost one. And I think we're gonna go all the way south first and start there and then work our way up um, is the general plan right now. But in probably 20 minutes, we'll change the plan and do something completely different. Mm -hmm. But as it stands, we're gonna go all the way south, start that route and then work our way forward, uh, work our way up and uh, so right now we're just kind of uh, chilling, hanging out, enjoying this area. Gonna go get some more coffee. It is 9 a.m., something like that. Um, get some more coffee and then just relax and get ready to shove off. to get this show on the road. The guys are on the boat. They're gonna help us get off the dock. And we actually have a nice breeze filling in right now. We thought we might have to motor part of it. It was really calm in the bay. We didn't know if we'd catch winds outside, but now it's coming through here too. Looks like it's gonna be on our back quarter for the sail we want to make. So it looks like it is going to be a beautiful day on the water and we are so excited to get out there. Already? 
look so cute there. What do we think so far? I think this feels freaking amazing. I love being out in the open air and a breeze again. And it's just so beautiful. Like everywhere you look are just different islands with these like big peaks and they're just covered in vegetation. And looking through the guidebooks, there's so many white sand beaches. I don't know if anyone's gonna be able to hear me over the speaker. Oh. Uh, so I think this is going to be an amazing two weeks and it looks like Thailand has a lot of gems in the Koh Chang area for sailing. I think that we've decided on an anchorage for the night and we're actually going to go to the southern, the southwest edge of Comac. A few of the reasons we want to go there is um, the guidebook said it had just like some really cool, chill places. It's supposed to be just like a really chill, laid back island, Comac. And there's this art house which has live music. It's supposed to have great Thai street food right around there. And bonus for us is that this awesome German couple we met, uh, Maria and Philip, a few nights ago at one of our other hostels on Koh Chang are actually staying in another hostel now on the southwest side of Comac. So our hope is that we'll get at least another night of hanging out with them in and then possibly we might be able to get them on the boat to go for like a day sail with us which will probably just move to the north end of Comac but it's supposed to have some great beaches, resorts, uh, swimming so we'll see if we can <laughs> wrangle them into that I'm sure it won't be a hard bargain to drive but for our first stop we're really looking forward to it uh, the photos the aerial photos of the anchorage look great absolutely kicking ourselves so hard right now that we did not bring the drone into Thailand with us when we were reading up on it is what you're supposed to have it, like registered supposed to get insurance and like most things they we found out now that they don't really check they don't care um, but it was one piece of equipment that we didn't want to like take too many chances with. It seemed at first like it was going to be more of a hassle than it was worth to get it into the country, but now, now that we know it's not, and now that we know we're not going to get our aerial views, <laughs> I'm so mad. I'm tempted to go buy one somewhere. Um, but I don't think there's going to be any lack of beautiful scenery, so really excited. This is our first stop, and if Ko Kud is supposed to be even better than Ko Mac, then I have no idea what we're in store for because I don't think I can handle it. is looking like a lovely anchorage and we are just sliding right back into the cruising life. 